just the beginning of your day and uh, just add the uh, <coughs> reflection I gave after the Patimokha recitation I had uh, uh, emphasized the developing the four foundations of mindfulness or returning or not forgetting uh, just how important uh, these this cultivation of mindfulness and, and with that sense of you know, this paying uh, having the body feelings mind objects of mind as a basis for one's attention and investigation, cultivation, um, the Ananda was once asked uh, what, 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 what was the, in the Buddha's perspective, what, 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 what was the condition for the the dispensation of the Buddha to, to continue for a long time uh, after, after the, the Buddha's passing. And uh, Ananda answered the, that the, the Tathagata emphasized the cultivation and development of these four foundations of mindfulness being uh, a major <coughs> force of, of uh, sustaining the, uh, the dispensation. So it's not just a, a personal practice, and of course it is a very personal practice, uh, but uh, that personal practice has, has effects over time, both for oneself as well as for others. Um, similarly, there's a, the, 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 the famous discourse that, uh, the, of, of the acrobat where the the master and his apprentice, the master says, to, you watch over me and I'll watch over you and we'll, we will, uh, we'll, we'll be able to make a living uh, comfortably and be safe and get down off of our bamboo pole um, comfortably. And the apprentice is, corrects the Master and says, no, no, I'll, I'll look after myself, you look after yourself. And when we look, uh, us looking after each other in this way, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll be safe. And, and the Buddha praises the apprentice. Um, and because um, so, you know, that, it said it's through looking after oneself that one looks after others. That there's just and through looking after others, one looks after oneself. Um, so they're they're not exclusive to each other, but it's that there's that is this uh, very natural effect of when we looking after our mindfulness, uh, our attention, our circumspection, our scrupulosity. <coughs> Then there's, <clears throat> it has the effect of being caring for, for others. And, and then looking after others, we, we, are, we live in the world with other people. And we look after ourselves as well. And then the Buddha says, you know, how do we, what do we, when we look after others, we look after ourselves, what do we rely on? And he relies on, on, on patience, on, on compassion, on, Loving kindness or sympathy. Um, um, those are uh, so that they, they, uh, they you know, when uh, our interactions with other people and the world around us uh, should always be guided by by those principles. Uh, and uh, uh, it's it's not uh, <coughs> a. Uh, uh, how you say it's, it's a contradiction of terms to say that you mindfully get angry or you mindfully get greedy. <laughs> it's, uh, it's, 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 it's not very uh, 
are very useful for ourselves. So that having, exercising patience and kindness, compassion, sympathy, and uh, looking after when one, one looks after oneself, one cares for oneself, looking after oneself, one's caring for others. And there's this coming back to these four foundations of mindfulness, brain really learning how to have a continuity of awareness and, and alertness and presence of mind so that we understand what our what our volitions are, what our intentions are, what our uh, implications of our of our actions, and uh, and then we ourselves lay the foundation, the basis for for a strong sense of peace and and uh, stability, a solidity of mind.